Hey there, it's your Mastros. Welcome back to the ultimate pit stop for your weekly dose of digital dynamite. I'm Tausif, your guide through the ever-evolving landscape of SEO wonders. We have got a tur- turbocharged lineup today, packed with the latest trends and game-changing updates that will keep you ahead of the curve. So grab your SEO helmets because we are delving straight into the heart of this week's digital roller coaster. But before delving into this week's SEO updates, let's shine a spotlight on our vibrant community thriving on Discord. It serves as a virtual gathering ground for passionate individuals immersed in the realms of SEO and digital marketing. If you haven't become part of this dynamic space yet, find the invitation link conveniently placed in the description below. Before uh, Beyond being a hub for news updates, our Discord is a dynamic arena where we conduct free giveaways, share exclusive coupons and offer valuable resources. It's more than just a community, it's a nexus of knowledge and opportunities. So if your enthusiasm aligns with the world of SEO and digital marketing, come be a part of our thriving community. Now let's seamlessly transition into this week's riveting SEO updates. First up on our SEO roller coaster, we have got Google Search Central dropping some news. They are introducing structured data support for profile pages and forums. Imagine the possibilities for social media and online communities. The update comes with new Search Console reports, giving out the VIP pass to insights and validation for your marked up pages. Check out this blog post for the full scoop and remember, your feedback is the secret source for even more improvements. Google Search Central introduces support for profile page and discussion forum structured data, enhancing Google search features for social media perspectives and online communities. The markup, including profile page and discussion forum posting, enables better identification of creators and forum style content. The update comes with new reports in Search Console, offering insights and validation for marked up pages. So this blog post emphasizes choosing the most suitable markup for different use cases and encourages user feedback for further improvements. Next, on our SEO Safari, Google is flexing its structured data muscles. If you thought Google only cared about logos, think again. Now they are diving deep into organizational details like names, addresses and contact info. The blog, courtesy of uh, this, uh, is a treasure trove of insights. Dive into the details, embrace the new organization documentation and get ready to shine to those knowledge panels. Don't forget to hit them up in the Google Search Central community if you have got questions or just want to show some love. A recent blog post on Google Search Central dated uh, November 29, 2023, Google announces an expansion of uh, support for organizational information through structured data. Since 2013, Google has recognized the logo structured data and now it is extending its support to include additional administrative data such as name, address, contact information and various business identifiers. This update allows organizations to showcase more comprehensive details in knowledge and panel, knowledge panels and visual elements on Google search, enhancing user accessibility. So the blog post details the merging of logo documentation into the new organization documentation and introduces more extensive organization validations in the risk results test. The post encourages organizations to add new fields for a more enriched representation in knowledge panels. Ayuna Studios and Alexa Jansen, Google Shopping Software Engineers, provide insights and guidance, emphasizing the ease of implementation, implementing organization structure, data, and its potential impact on knowledge panels. The Rich Results Test is highlighted as a valuable tool for organization to instantly validate their structured data. So the boss concludes by inviting questions and feedback from various users as well. Hold on tight, SEO enthusiasts. There's a strong viewing as websites are slamming the door on Google Extended. The number has skyrocketed by 180% and big players like New York Times and Yelp are in on the action. But here's the plot twist. Blocking this isn't a silver bullet. To truly escape the AI grasp, you might need to go all in. The number of websites blocking Google Extended has surged by 180% with more than 250 prominent sites, including the New York Times, Yelp and uh, so many other properties uh, websites. Opting to restrict access to their uh, standalone product token, Introduced by Google on September 28, Google Extended allows users to block various AI models, including BART and Vertex AI Generative APIs. The move reflects a growing trend among businesses to prevent their content from contributing to the profits and competitiveness of AI companies. Despite the increase in blocks, debates continue about the necessity of restricting bots and their impact on training lang- large la- uh, language models. Large language models. Merely blocking Google Extended in robots.txt doesn't prevent content from appearing in Google search generative experience. To fully really opt out, blocking Google Bot is required, but, th- but this action also removes the size from Google search. 
so just give it a look just give it a read it's a trending practice in the industry so if you don't want your blog or your website to be indexed or trained by ai you can also try it out this is the season for surprises over search central is unwrapping a daily gift for your this for you this december behind each virtual door there is a treasure trove of seo wisdom waiting to be discovered from crawl budgets to search in, uh, search optimization it's a buffet of insights make sure to check in daily and make this countdown your daily seo advent calendar google search central is celebrating the month of december with a unique countdown sharing daily resources that were deemed interesting or noteworthy throughout 2023 each day a new door will open revealing valuable insights tips or updates the content spans various topics related to managing crawl budget and other essential aspects for search engine optimization Users are encouraged to revisit the page daily to explore the diverse content behind each door. The interactive approach aims to engage the community and provide a comprehensive view of key developments in the search landscape over the past year. Privacy alert. Google's got its sights set on ad targeting in the consumer finance ring. Starting Feb 28, 2024, it's a whole new ball game. No more targeting based on sensitive info like gender or zip code. Advertisers, it's time to tweak those settings and avoid the ad account suspension. Google will be sending friendly warnings, but don't say we didn't warn you. Google is set to implement stricter regulations on personalized advertising related to consumer financial products effective February in coming February. The update aims to safeguard user privacy and prevent discrimination by profiting the targeting of audiences based on sensitive factors such as gender, age, parental status, marital status, or zip code. The policy change part of Google's ongoing efforts to refine ad targeting by practices impacts credit and banking ads. Advertisers must review and adjust their targeting settings to comply with the revised policy. With enforcement with enforcement beginning in late February 2024, Google will issue warnings before suspending accounts for policy violations, emphasizing the transition's importance over the following 6 months. And now a shout out to our pal our pals at Microsoft. They have just uh, bought a game changer, Monetize Insights. For all you publishers out there, this analytics dashboard is your new BFF. Total revenue tracking, bid rejection insights, and a user-friendly design. It's a very good uh, dashboard of data delight. Publishers, it's time to optimize like never before. Microsoft Advertising introduces Monetize Insights, an analytics, analytics dashboard available within its supply-side platform, Monetize. Aimed at publishers, this tool offers visual graphs and comparison charts for a comprehensive performance overview. Key features include total revenue tracking and bid rejection insights, allowing publishers to identify issues, trends, and opportunities efficiently. The dashboard's user-friendly design streamlines workflows, providing a centralized hub for monitoring key monetization metrics. With a global rollout, Monetize Insights aims to empower publishers with clear visibility into advertising performance, facilitating informed optimization decisions. Quite a good uh, thing, I guess. Now, brace yourselves, link lovers. Google's very own John Mueller is dropping knowledge bombs on fixing inbound broken links, analytics, server logs, and a dash of wisdom. Is there a recipe for strategic link management? But hold your horses. Not all 404s are worth your time. John breaks it down, giving you the map to navigate the link repair maze. Google's John Mueller shares insights on addressing inbound broken links, emphasizing the importance of selectively fixing 404 errors. Mueller suggests using analytics and server logs to identify broken links that receive traffic, highlighting their relevance. However, he advises against fixing all 404 pages, noting that the SEO value may be outweighed by the effort. So, and uh, this thread of further explores scenarios where fixing inbound broken links is beneficial. and situations where error allow in 404 responses is appropriate providing guidance for effective link management last but not least we have got a tool uh, in our seo toolbox the fetch and render simulator so this tool is a free tool as well and you can explore it because it's designed to simulate google google bots fetch and render process this tool provides rendered source code screenshots and optimal lighthouse tests It honors robots.txt, offers user agent and referral customization, and checks for valid filicons for Google search on domain routes. Results are not logged, and thus are deleted after five minutes. So, developed by Smart Internet Consultants, this tool ensures accurate uh, ensures accurate testing for web rendering and search optimization. 
so it's a free tool and it will show you how your website is being crawled and being understood by the google bot so give it a try and no i'm not being sponsored by them i found this tool useful so i'm thinking it will be his helpful for you all as well and there you have it SEO super heroes another week another adventure in the world of digital optimization if you found these updates as rectifying as we did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe for our weekly seo fixes and share your thoughts in the comments below as you navigate the digital highways remember the only way is forward keep optimizing stay ahead and until next time this is your uh, this is your host Joseph signing off keep rocking those search rankings